Hello there, Wibber here, and today I'm going to be doing another epic mob battle, and this time it's going to be between the Sun Boss and four Iron Golems, so this should be quite an interesting one because they have completely different attack styles and it's going to be really fun to watch. So anyway, now to introduce the two different mobs. So the first competitor is the Sun Boss here, and you can see he's got 250 health and he actually has three different attack styles. So first up we've got the one where he jumps in the air and slams down on the ground, which has like a splash damage effect when he lands and that's damaging to mobs. Also, the second one is his arm movement, so when he moves his arms, he's going to do damage, like melee damage to them. And third is his best attack, which is the one where he fires flaming arrows rapidly out of his mouth, like there, I think. And these are really damaging, and it pushes mobs away, so they can't even get anywhere near him to hit him. So that's probably going to be a disadvantage um, for the Iron Golems on that one, because they're just not going to be able to get in close. But there we go, so that's the Sun Boss. And the Sun Boss will be going up against these four guys here, which are, of course, Iron Golems from Vanilla Minecraft, so... um. No surprises here what they do, they just flick their enemies up into the air with their massive arms. So they've got to get up close to the Sun Boss to be able to fling him up in the air and do damage. So that's going to be their main attack method. Uh, of course that is if they can get in close enough with all the spammy arrows from the Sun Boss. So yeah, this should be quite interesting. So who do you think is going to be the champion of this mob battle? Feel free to leave a comment below. So, let's get this mob battle started. I'm going to start off by spawning the four iron golems, and they're going to follow that up by spawning the sun boss. So, there we go. Now we've spawned the sun boss, and instantly the four iron golems have gone straight for the sun boss. And eventually, the um, sun boss is now going to start shooting its fire flaming arrows there. But, of course, it's only going to be targeting one of these iron golems at once. So, three of them are still going to be able to attack the sun boss, because it's not going to be fighting them. But there we can see the um, like pow effect there by the sun boss as he pounds himself to the ground and then has that splash damage effect, which is very damaging to the Iron Golems. And you can see they've got barely any health left already. They really need to pick up their game here, otherwise they're going to have no chance. And here we go, they're going one by one. Uh, it's like another one bites the dust, and they're just completely getting owned by this Sun Boss here. So there you go, I think it's... Um, oh, actually, no, the Iron Golem has a final go there. But there we go, you can see that the Sun Boss did win that one. He has 87 health left, and all four Iron Golems are down, so there we go. I think next up we're going to do a re-do um, of this round, but this time we're going to be spawning the Sun Boss first, and then follow up with the um, Iron Golems. So yeah, let's um, redo this battle. So um, let's go back to the centre again, and let's start by um, spawning the Sun Boss this time, and then the four Iron Golems. There we go. So let's see what happens this time. So the four Iron Golems go straight for the Sun Boss again. There we go, he's getting flung into the air. And again, oh, there we are, he's doing his smash effect, and now he's going to start using his flaming arrows. And he's going to be picking off the ones further away from him, and then ignoring these ones that are doing a lot of damage to him at the front. And this time, you see, the um, Iron Golems are doing a lot better, look at them. They're going chain attack on them now, look at that. He's already down to um, 79 health, and he's just not using his flaming arrows, because he just can't charge up the um, power to do the attack. And now the Iron Golems have pretty much won that one, look at that one. So two different rounds, two different, completely different um, results, so there we go. So on that round, the um, Iron Golems came out on top, so we're going to have one more to do the Decider. So let's just kill these guys and start again. And there's that one guy over there that just gave up all hope of trying to fight the Sun Boss. But let's get this battle started again. And this time we're going to spawn the four Iron Golems first, and then the Sun Boss. So here we go, final round. Um, and instantly the four Iron Golems are going straight for the Sun Boss, and he's getting flung up in the air again. And whoa, there we go, the um, smash there from the Sun Boss. And he's going to be using his flaming arrows, hopefully, and then he'll be doing a lot more damage to the iron golems than just using his power attack. But again, he's having problems with these iron golems. Now he just can't charge up his um, main attack fast enough, and he's just getting battered. I mean, look at him. He's getting driven towards the wall by this iron golem, and there we go. You see he's down. So there we are. That concludes that actually, in this case, the four iron golems completely owned him. Even though the first battle looked like um, the sun boss was clearly the better mob, after three battles, we can see that the iron golems did win that one overall. So if you... um guessed the Iron Golems, you were correct, so there we go.